Lek and Greg Vegan Camp, the 1st of June 2022! The sweet bamboos are producing um, bamboo shoots and these can be eaten raw but we uh, boil them or steam them and they're really nice. So here is an example of a bamboo shoot that's growing inside. When they're growing outside like wants them to grow more so they will expand uh, but otherwise if they're like inside you can just cut them not completely down because they will not regrow but if you cut them somewhere around here or whatever where it's soft in principle if you don't have anything and you're on survival mode you might just just break them off but we use a, like a tool metal tool to just cut it here here's another example of a bamboo shoot so you can also like here is it's softer here is like super hard so we would be able to cut it off around here some people ask if we have mosquitoes. Yes, we have tons of mosquitoes. A lot. It's annoying. But we also have a lot of mosquito nets, which is also good. We also have clothes. It's also a good protection from mosquitoes. Here are even more of these sweet bamboos growing all around. It's really nice. In the ba background you can see some dragon fruit. They're not flowering right now though. Soaking some rice. Very good uh, for humans and also for dogs. The banana fruit rack, primarily with bananas right now in the fruit rack and some mangoes too in here and these are probably dying here's some cavendish ripening up and yeah I think they're red cavendish, we will need to harvest those soon solar domes are being used to dry mangoes I, uh, like a mango mass so it's like a flat mango thing like that and also chaya is being uh, dried so there's a different uh, stuff going on here at the homestay in Likaset farm also Aroi mai? Aroi. If it's aroi, aroi then, it, then it tastes good. The red Cavendish expert has spoken. These Cavendish are not ready for harvest yet. Even though they have changed the color a little bit, but I'm just worried that they will crack at some point. And they start cracking it's they're just like they will not ripen up completely so the key is to harvest them before they start cracking which can be difficult to know when that when that time is oversook it's too old now sometimes we don't see when these fall so they just they're just compost And the cassava plants, they are like, we need to do something about those. But they just grow like uh, crazy and yeah, you need to maintain them a little bit, cut them down before it goes completely crazy because they fall down anyway because of the rain and they cannot just sustain themselves when they get taller. I don't know, maybe they haven't been planted deep enough or something like that. But And my favorite thing right now is this guy. I've been waiting for I don't know how long for this uh, pineapple to, to give fruit. It has been maybe five years or more. But now there is a pineapple here. It's, it's completely wow. It's completely wow. It's maybe one of the biggest pineapples I've grown here. We've had on, on, on this camp. There's a row of faktong. Which is the winter squash, which is pumpkin. Pumpkins. We try to grow pumpkins here. See how they will grow like in, in between the mango trees. And on the side of the land we have a row of beans. Dua. So here they are sprouting. Some of them are getting bigger. That's good. And in the compost area we have these things growing. 
So when you have the rice straw and combined with the compost from like the food scraps, you have like a very good mix of um, of soil and especially when it's this is as like the second year now and you have just like I mean this is newly added um, uh, rice straw and the the pumpkin just loves this and they just spread and grow like crazy so it really depends on the the seeds that have been here but sometimes the pumpkin just pops out from the from the old seeds in the um, in the compost and they just grow well sometimes and sometimes they get sick and die so yeah it's just sometimes it's just trial, trial and error and sometimes you just need to pick the uh, really good seeds and only plant those to if you want a good yield but otherwise I like sometimes to be so it's a little bit chaotic this is how it looks before it turns into a food forest. You have like bananas growing, all kinds of different trees, but you still have a lime over there, you have a jackfruit over there, and another jackfruit, some longan over there, you know, it's just like different trees and plants all growing together. You have the sour tamarind trees over there, and you have like, we have avocados growing over here, and yeah, so here is like more established and before this was like being used for the corn fodder for feeding animals but now it's turning into an area where there is food for humans and that's just cooler I think I mean this is food for humans but also for, for animals like bananas like birds and dogs and like a lot of animals can eat bananas and it's not only bananas it's um, it's also the banana flower and you can actually also eat the core like young the core you can uh, you can actually cook with these um, plants so it's like a lot of food and also like the jackfruits I mean there's so much food from the jackfruits I'm for me, I cannot. I, 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 I'm, I'm not able to consume at all the, the amount of food that is growing right now around here. Uh, I mean, we have so much different stuff, so it's just like it's. Uh, it's really the the goal of coming here to Thailand and growing the food we eat. I mean, we, we buy food still. We buy like if we want specific rice and other things like durian also we need to buy that from other places because they don't grow really well here we're trying to grow durian but without really a lot of success so so it's just like in a case of like when people are worried about food shortage so i'm not worried about that at all because there's just so much food here like I, and we will be able if let's say there will be more people coming here like volunteers or whatever we could just do more intensive gardening and we could even grow even more food like insane amounts of food uh, and of course everything organically except that it might like if some from other areas there might be some residue of chemicals coming in that we cannot protect from that but we can like reduce uh, the harm as much as possible. That's also why Leg is growing like a um, fence from Tamarin on the on the borders, and we do different initiatives to to like minimize uh, all this. And to be honest, they're not spraying that much here uh, in this area. Uh, maybe once a year. Compared to other countries, this is like nothing because normally people here don't have enough money to buy the chemicals. So that's a good thing to to make. The, the planet and the world a better place. I think that's the, the, the good direction. A temple dog that has become the protector of the camp. Yeah, protect. Go and protect. <laughs> now we have Fabian to help us around. We'll be here uh, helping out from time to time for a year. I think it's good to like for, for people to experience the different seasons, the different challenges. You will learn a lot about how uh, things are grown in the different times and which plants can grow which plants cannot grow 
and you will experience and learn how to make the most amazing food to eat and yeah it's just I the the whole thing of coming here and volunteering at the vegan camp I think there's a lot of benefits in both sides um, uh, you, you will learn a lot and you will help us to build uh, more food forests for, for humans and and for me it's also a very good thing to have here as a, like a vegan is like I can like, I can relax and say okay this is a vegan place I don't need to um, experience uh, the horrors humans are doing to to animals on mass scale on the, on the outside world so yeah that's just that's just um, very peaceful for me to be able to be in an area where it's like vegan area it's like very important for me my life my my consciousness my everything so that's why I really enjoy being here and not so much I mean I like to go out uh, around and look around what's like to get ideas and to experience some other stuff and eat durian eat other fruits go to the ocean sometimes but really this is just like the, 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 the peace I have here is just different it's just better for me it's like like a human for, for, for me like a, like a vegan like for me like a, with a vegan lifestyle this is very crucial and important to to have a place like this to 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 thrive uh, really otherwise we have limes again and like everything is growing and it seems that the mulberries are coming up again soon.